Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Strikers. You know, I gotta tell you, it's been a couple days since I played this game, but all that's been on my mind, what's been slowly chewing away at my subconscious, has been that stupid sudden death loss to stupid Mario's team because of a stupid Super Strike! It was like, oh, it was such a heartbreaking way to lose that game. It's a good thing that I'm not a professional sports coach. I don't know if I'd ever be able to get off a major loss if my team lost. But regardless, I am excited to get back into this game because we are, uh, you know, approaching the end of the Super Bowser Cup. But at the same time, I really need to come out strong here because this is the chance for redemption. If I lose another game, my, I might be just permanently demoralized. I have no idea because that was rough. That was rough. We had some hopeful scoring opportunities in that last game, and they just all got shut down immediately before the defense totally crumbled under the pressure and gave up a clutch super strike for Mario's team to take home the victory. And now, to add insult to injury, we have to face off against the super team, which, as you know, is my least favorite opponent to play against. So we'll see what we can do. Hoping for the best here. And by the way, I, I mean, Wario has 25 points sitting on top of that leaderboard. Super Team with 24 points. Really looking to uh, contest that first place position. So this is a big game on a, on a personal level and also in terms of the standing in the Super Bowser Cup. Let's go. Let's crush the Super Team here into oblivion. And like I said, we are approaching the end of the Super Bowser Cup, so we got two more normal rounds to go, and then we start our two knockout rounds, which should be exciting. And good way to start the here. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, here we go. Let's actually play for Oh, I didn't want to pass to Wario. I wanted to pass to Wario. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Not a very strong start for Wario's team, as Super Team immediately puts on the pressure. I think Wario's team a little confused. Like I said, demoralized, demoralized, and immediately gets a powerful goal to come up 1-0 at the start of the game. All right, let's play a little bit. Smart. I was going to say, a little pathetic shot like that has no chance of going in as Koopa passes the ball across court to Wario, but it's promptly stolen away by a super team. Look at that, using the mushroom to get a little bit of a deke. I don't know if that really ended up helping out, but regardless, Wario quite collects the ball again, but immediately knocked down by super team. Again knocked down over there. Another shot on goal, but stopped away by Critter. Tried for the one-timer there, and he totally whiffed. This gives Koopa Troopa a breakaway opportunity with the ball bomb catching him in just that little radius there of the explosion as he goes down. Look at that, Deacon the banana setting up for a perfect pass and shot, but no Robo Critter, you can see him jumping in the way of that shot. Now already a minute left. Another perfect pass, perfect shot, but stolen away by Koopa Troopa. Definitely gonna use the mushroom to set up for an opportunity, but no, knocked down before anything could happen because of that. I'm gonna check him right into the fence though there. Get a stun off of that shot, but cleared away immediately by Super Team. Gonna use that mushroom. Party up on that one. Get out of here. Set up for another offensive opportunity. Here we go. Koopa Troopa with a spinning kick, and that goes in the back of the net. There we go. Look at that. Using items strategically to create that separation. Wario able to deke everybody out. Look at that. Everybody going down to that corner. And nope, he kicks it right out of the way to Koopa Troopa with a spinning bicycle kick to tie the game one to one. Wow, that was tough. That was tough. All right, here we go. We got a preserve hopefully a tie so we can enter sudden death or extend the lead if we can to avoid it entirely but definitely not give up a goal like that was oh that was a bad pass that was a bad bad pass you gotta use a green shell to mitigate that because that was a little ugly all right oh, i don't want to pass that way pass to wario no no this has bad news written all over it but critter comes through in the clutch with a save Oh, whoa, ball deflecting off the green shell, and that green shell now coming back to hit my guy. All right, look at this. Look at this. Come on, Wario. All alone here. Oh, no. <laughs> I tried for the super strike. Didn't happen. And we're now in sudden death. Get out of here. I'm not going to let him get that. Got to pass it over there. Pass it to Wario. Let's see, in a little bit of a tough spot here in the corner. Can I feed it to Koopa? No, we're not going to let me camp under that for that long. But I will pass it back over the middle again, but again, shut down. All right, we got the ball rolling way over here to Critter. Good stop by Critter. And let's see what we can do here. Let's try to work the ball over to the mid. Oh, no, no, no. Super Team with that ball movement. 
Does nothing for him though as Krita corrals the ball. Oh, trying to use the mushroom to get some separation, but couldn't get out in time. But it's okay because Wario just waltzes up to the goal and kicks it in. Look at this. With the steal, he's just going to walk right up and deliver that strike right in front of the net at the top of. Oh, oh that was just fantastic. At the top level of intensity of play right there, Wario just spits in the face of strategy and ball movement and finesse. And he says, you know what? I'm just going to walk right up to the goal and I'm going to kick it in because I'm the Wario. I'm the going to win. And he did. Look at that block by Krayer. Match highlight number two. Oh, yeah, the tying goal by Koopa Troopa. Completely had the defense fooled, if you notice. Everyone shifting down to that corner, leaving only one super team robot to try to defend against Koopa, but it was way too late. And the pilot of the match has to be, look at this, the steal, and then just waltzing right up to the goal. No one expected it, and Wario knew that. Comes right in and just kicks that right in the back of the net from point blank range. What a phenomenal match. Holy cow. That See, that got my blood pumping again. Now I'm excited. Before I was so like uh, ho-hum about the whole thing because I lost in sudden death to Mario, but now a sudden death victory puts Wario back on top not that he wasn't on top but you know on top emotionally on top in terms of like wow. being pumped and hyped for the remainder of the super bowser cup and by the way take a look at the standings here wario sitting on top of 28 we are now facing off against daisy who's in second just one point behind it's like an echo of last match against the super team here and look at it's a pretty tight leaderboard though it looks like barring any dramatic uh outcomes that it's going to be Wario, Daisy, Super Team, and DK in the knockout rounds. But let's find out. We got Wario versus Daisy right now. Uh, Daisy's probably looking for a little bit of revenge after her last battle against Wario when we, you know, destroyed the undefeated Daisy at the time. But she's still holding on to second place, looking to climb up the ladder much as we did. So we'll see what we can do against Daisy at Pipeline Central. Man, what an excellent win, though. In overtime, sudden death overtime against the Super Team. Two things that I hate, the super team, and also losing in sudden death, oh, yeah. being able to destroy the super team and avoid that loss. I I'm so on cloud nine right now. All right, here we go. Come on, Wario. Shake that booty thing, and let's get started with this match. I'm so excited. Here we go. All right, let's go. Wario, pass to Koopa, pass to Koopa again. Oh, yeah, there's so many Koopa triples. That's right. This has been like the... The tournament of Koopas. As the ball rolls to the corner down there, Koopa checking other Koopa into the fence. Gonna kind of try to pass that ball up the middle there. Look at that, involving all the members of the team as he passes over the middle of Wario, but a weak little shot doesn't really uh, result in very much. Now the Koopa Troopers on an offensive opportunity of their own, and just in the nick of time, able to knock down the opponent's Koopa Troopa. Did you see that? With literally no time to spare, Wario gets checked into the fence though. And now Daisy is on the offensive, trying to get a shot off there. But my Koopa Troopa body blocking that, not going to let him do anything. That ball just ricochets off his face. And he gets right back up and into the action. He doesn't care. Let's see here. A little tricky positioning with that bananas messing everything up a little bit. Using the bananas, or using the mushroom to corral that as they get a perfect pass and shot opportunity, but blocked away by Critter. Oh, now Bowser's here to mess things up. Although he may be messing things up for the other team because that sets up a good opportunity for me. Back-to-back -back shots, and one of them goes in. Of course, the perfect pass and perfect shot finds its way in the back of the net. Look at that, an offensive barrage from my Koopa Troopers. I think Bowser interfered with the other team more so than he did with mine because look at that. As he leaps into the frame, that's a Bowser goal! All right, and it puts Wario up 1-0 with just about halfway through. Good steal by Koopa Troopa on that loose ball. And that goes in somehow. Wait, 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 what just happened? How did that go in? It's the equalizer goal, but Critter was in front of it. Oh, it deflects off of Critter's chest and into the net. Are you kidding me? Off of Critter's, like, <laughs> not even his chest. It was, like, off his knee and into the net. Oh, what a disaster. What a disaster by the goalkeeper, Critter. But we got, oh, <laughs> And now Wario's own items backfiring. Oh no, what an embarrassment. Oh no, this is just bad. No, 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 no. Oh gosh, another offensive opportunity and Critter letting another one slip through the net. Koopa Troopa able to get it to his teammate. 
putting Daisy in the lead. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Two back-to-back -back goals, none of which were particularly good. And Daisy now with a 2-1 advantage over Wario. We got 39 seconds. Plenty of time to work with here, but we'll see what we can do. Daisy is being very, very aggressive here. Uh, let's see if we can... Oh, no. With a steal right in front of the net. Get out of here. I have no faith in Critter right now. All right. Oh, the green shell is knocking me down. Oh, look at the time coming off the clock. Tick, 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 tick. All right, we got 20 seconds. All right, come on, we need to gain control of the ball. Pass up to Koopa. Oh, block though, immediately knocked down. Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Oh gosh, here we go, here we go. This is it, this is it to Wario. Come on, for the tie, for the equalizer. No, blocked away. Oh, I can't believe it. And that's it, Wario Corinna's gonna corral it, and that's it, it's a 2-1 loss to end the Super Bowser Cup. I think that might put Daisy on top of the leaderboard after all of that. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? Right there, that was it, oh my goodness. I, I can't even bear to watch that again. I can't even bear, that was such a perfect setup from point blank range just like before and Critter with lightning reflexes. Unlike my Critter who decides to block half of the ball and just let it squirt across the goal line. Look at that, how does that even happen? How do you even do that? You like, don't pass it. What are we thinking here? And the highlight of the match has to be this, of course, but uh, whatever, whatever. Critter was just, I think that was like some sabotage or something like that. Look at Wario with 16 hits, three perfect passes, and yet comes up short. I mean, Daisy did have seven shots to four, but still, wow, what a tough game that was. That was a tough, tough game. And not the ideal way to end the Super Bowser Cup, truthfully, with a loss, because that's going to put Wario down in second place to end things. But you know what? That's oh, oh no, it's not okay, because now we have to fight the super team. <laughs> I was just about to say, that's okay, because as long as we're in the top four, we make the knockout. But that means we got to fight super team again. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's just get this over with. Wario versus super team once more. Now in the semifinals of the Super Bowser Cup, it's win in advance or lose and go home. So big stage for Wario's team right now, especially coming off a loss. Really got to rebound here and see what we can do. But this is it. This is like finally approaching the playoffs of the, the Super Bowser Cup. And of course, they have to take place in Bowser Stadium. Okay, Super Team's marching out. Wario comes trotting out as well with the thumbs up. He's in high hope. I, I have high hope for Wario, and I think he's in good spirits about this match. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, come on. I need this win so bad. Uh, imagine I come all this way and lose. Come all this way and lose. I would just, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'd be so livid with myself. All right, here we go. Super team clearly uh, trying to create some ball movement and get off to an early lead. But a clutch steal by Wario as he passes it to his teammate with a shot. He gets the stun. And with a little ball movement, able to capitalize on the stun. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, what an exciting start to the match. A stun right away, and Koopa Troopa able to pass it over to his teammate. A lot of room in front of the net there as the other Super Team robots a little too late to step up to help out on defense. And that is just an amazing way to start things out. 1-0, Wario's team with the advantage over Super Team. Get out of here. On the biggest stage, too. This is it. Oh, look at this. Look at this opportunity. Uh, not quite close enough to be perfect, but oh, man, I wanted that. I wanted that so bad. Get yeah, no. out. Pass to Wario. Whoop. Oh, I wanted to deke out of the way. I guess didn't get that off in time. Right, super ball. Uh, super team moving the ball laterally here, trying to set up for something, but Koopa Troopa getting in the way of that. Getting physical. Oh. Tough, tough opportunity here. Look at all these. Look at them all. They're all crowded in one spot. Oh, no. Oh, no. There were so many of them down there. Whole team in the offensive end. Look at this. One, two over there. Two in front of the net. It was like my defense is playing the opposite side of the field. And they make me pay for that with an equalizer goal. Good setup, too. Good pass. I tried to get Koopa Troopa in the way just at the end. But, no, that ball curves right around him. And that sets up for the goal. But, oh no, my old red shell. I was like, but this red shell is going to help out. And it doesn't at all because it just gets in the way. Oh, and that item used too close to Critter. Oh, no, what? No, 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 no. I was like, there's no way we can have a little breakaway here after that. 
Oh, another perfect pass and shot opportunity, though. I don't know if that one was going to go in, even if Critter didn't block it away. But still, dangerous stuff by the Super Team. Look at that. And now those items knock me down my entire team. That's the other thing about the Super Team. You have to really be careful because any one of them can use a Super Strike. So you can't let any of them give separation or get separation at all. See, like, right there. Right there. Case in point. Attempting the Super Strike. Look at this, though. Look at this opportunity over to Wario. He's all alone. Can he get it with a spinning kick? No. Blocked away by the Keeper. All right, but there we go. A nice steal. Another pass and another. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, and Wario. Yes. Yes. That ball squirting away in the. Oh, my gosh. On the right side. Did you see that? Look at this. Critter stepping up to make a play. And no. Wario just threading the needle through that little opening and taking the lead 2-1. Oh, man. But we got to play some good defense here if we want to keep that 2-1 lead. Super Team regains control of the ball. But, no, I'm not going to even let them touch it. I'm not even going to let them touch it. I'm just going to repeatedly check them into the fence. See if we get a shot there. No good. 6 5 4. Uh oh, they're moving the ball a little bit. Can't let him do anything. Critter, just grab that ball. Just hold on to it. Hold on to it. And that's it. Wario with the 2 1 victory over Super Team. Wow, that was intense. There were some really clutch moments there as Wario celebrates with its athletic split. Look at this. Look at that setup and that shot, but blocked away after all that. That was a good block. I really thought we had something going there. Unfortunately not. Uh, check this out. This was just <laughs> utter dom. That's what the super team can do. Utter domination. They were totally controlling the offense there. And my defense paid dearly for it as he curved right around Critter's dive and between Koopa. But look at this. How could this not be the highlight of the match? Look at that. Critter, Robo Critter trying to just dive in front. But no, Wario threading the needle, finding that way to win. That's what Wario's team is good at. 2-1, to one, a victory over the Super Team, and really outclassing them in every area, and, or tying them in total hits and perfect passes, but really, really fantastic performance by Wario, showing that, you know what, he's meant to be in this knockout. You may not have gotten first overall in the tournament, but who cares? Who cares? Oh, how appropriate is this? How appropriate is this? After losing the final match of the regular tournament, in the knockout round, Wario defeats Super Team and now goes up against Daisy for the championship. Let's see. This is the finals of the Super Bowser Cup. Wario, we need you here, man. Come on. He's got to bring his A game. You know he's got to be pumped up. You know he's got to be motivated, especially after a performance like that. Oh, man. I am <laughs> I'm like my heart is racing. I am excited. I'm into it. Let's go. Today at Bowser Stadium, it's the finals of the Super Bowser Cup. This is Wario versus Daisy. And this will decide the fate of it all. It's been a long time coming. This Super Bowser Cup has been in progress for quite a while. It's finally time to decide the champion. As Wario gives a little bit of a taunt to start things. Maybe trying to get in Daisy's head. A little bit of mental trickery going on. Let's see if it's going to pay off. I don't know. Daisy seems to shrug it off. But did Wario get in her head there? Not trying to not take this match too seriously. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. Kind of disrupting that little quick pass by getting in the way of the trajectory of the ball. And I'm not going to let Daisy just camp under that forever. And speaking of disruption, those red shells kind of screwing things up. But Wario's team somehow still able to maintain control. Koopa with a good steal. I don't know if this is going to go anywhere, though. No, that pass kind of deflected off the fence or something. Just kind of went in a random direction. Daisy collecting the ball. Let's see. Wario's going to try to get it to his teammate, and he will in time. Is it going to be good enough for a goal? It is! It's a goal to start things off for Wario's team. Look at this. Trying to, oh, avoiding the hit by Koopa. Other Koopa Troopa could do nothing but watch as, look at this, the golden Koopa Troopa with the bicycle kick into the back of the net for a 1-0 lead to start things off here in the Super Bowser Cup Championship. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I didn't want to check there. Not really hitting anybody. Giving Daisy a lot of items, but those items coming back to bite their own team. And look at this offensive opportunity. Perfect pass to Wario as he just buries it. He buries it with a vengeance in the back of the net. Look at that. The items totally causing so much confusion on that side of the field. And then Koopa Trooper with that slide tackle, you see, takes out two of those opponent's Koopas at once and sets up for a 2-on-0 breakaway, and that they capitalize with another goal by the captain. Look at this, Daisy's team totally, I told you that taunt, 
totally got in their heads. And look at this, another breakaway. Another perfect pass to Wario and a shot. But this one blocked away this time. But look at this, he's going to gain control of the ball again and set up for another scoring opportunity. Oh, lightning reflexes displayed by that critter, though. Able to block that one away. Oh, whoa. Once, oh, no. Oh, no. Quick one-timer by Daisy. I thought Critter might have been able to grab that, but no, it deflects way off onto the pitch. And Koopa Troopa, right place, right time. I was starting to get in a celebratory mood, but just like that, it's a one-goal difference. We'll see what we can do. we got to try to continue the pressure. Oh, but that's okay. This is just a shootout at this point. This is just an offensive shootout as Wario dives into the camera, celebrating his goal so quick to come back. Look at that. Point blank. I'm really surprised Critter didn't step up, but he's got to be so mentally fragile after dealing with Wario's taunts and insults and overwhelming power that there's no way he could have stepped up. There is no way he could have prevented that. Look at this. Another steal. They're trying all the traditional trades, and it's not going to pay off as Wario just another one. Another one. Can you even stop him? Can you even hope to contain him? There is no putting out this fire that Wario's team is setting to Daisy's poor, helpless defense. Look at this spinning kick by the big fat Wario, buries it into the net, and we are now at a four to one, appropriately enough, advantage over Daisy's team. Can we add to it, or actually, can we hold it? Let's see, Daisy's not gonna back down. I don't think she's just gonna, even though she's moving the ball in the opposite direction, she's gonna try to, you see that item separation? I bet she was gonna try to set up for a super strike, but you know what, it's not gonna pay off. It's just gonna result in another offensive opportunity for Warrior. It is just an unrelenting assault. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh not quite over yet. Try to dodge those shells. No, couldn't quite get out of the way. Oh man, knocking two down for the price of one there as Daisy with a lot of separation. But those red shells are gonna ensure that nothing can happen there. Let's try to blow him up with the bombs before he can even get that shot off, and we do. Time ticking down, tick, tick. Tick, tick, a lot of time coming off the clock here. And a steal to set up for another shot opportunity and blocked away by Critter. But even so, if we can maintain control down here, this is taking a lot of time off the clock. These blocks, do they mean anything? No, because with items, Warrior's gonna create barricades. They can't get to the ball. Time expires and a four to one victory. 41 coming through for me again. Wario is the Super Bowser Cup champion after all of that getting revenge on daisy for the loss and just completely crushing her in that final bout four to one an offensive flurry of attacks there was no defense against that assault and wario taking home the super bowser cup trophy after all of his efforts let's take a look at the match highlights here look at this perfect pass and shot I mean, they have to all be goals by Wario's team. I can't imagine they wouldn't be. Although that that one that by Daisy was kind of impressive, but more fluky than anything. I think Wario's team really had the setups going here. The offense, the give and go, the teamwork, the breakaways. They had it all working for them in that final match. Match highlight number two, just absolutely stunning. And the highlight of the match, oh yeah, dodging the deke, passing it over the middle of the field. And look at that perfect textbook curve. That Koopa Troopa puts on the ball just so it can sneak past the outstretched hands of Critter and find its way into the net. A 4-1 to one decisive victory. Look at Daisy's stats. How pathetic is that? How pathetic. Literally nothing going her way and everything going the way of the greedy tyrant's Wario as he wins the Super Bowser Cup. What an exciting ending. Holy cow. And that's it. Wario is the champ. Wario wins the Super Bowser Cup. Look at that, with 11 and five record, not bad on Superstar uh, difficulty. We are placing first in the Super Bowser Cup. Look at that, Wario's team comes through. Man, I am so excited. I am so excited, that was fantastic. And by the way, unlocking infinite power-ups as a cheat, which is quite possibly the best cheat to play with. The fact that your items just continuously regenerate, it just makes for a totally chaotic and insane match which is unbelievable um more uh total stats uh games played 16 28 goals four super strikes 58 perfect passes and 162 hits on our way to unlocking some of the other cheats that this game has to offer win to loss for 11 to 5 and that's okay it results in a first place victory for the super bowser cup i love it
Love it, love it, love it. All right, so uh, this is not yet the end of Super Mario Strikers, although we will take some time to watch the credits as ne the Next Level Games robot is going to go ahead and paint a lovely picture of Next Level Games. Uh, but just to get my quick thoughts on this game, I know it was a long time coming for me to actually finish this one. But I'm very happy I came back to it. I'm very happy I, uh, you know, kind of closed the book on Super Mario Strikers and finished the Super Bowser Cup with an absolutely thrilling conclusion. I was so ha so happy that that worked out the way it did. Uh, this game is a lot of fun, and I feel like it's often underrated by a lot of people or forgotten. So in a lot of ways, it is somewhat overshadowed by its sequel, Mario Strikers Charged, on the Wii. But in a lot of ways, this game also has that simplicity to it that really makes it, you know, a, a complete package. A game that you could just have fun with for so, for over and over and over and over for so many uh, play sessions. Not to mention, the multiplayer in this game is absolute insanity. If you have four players, 2v2 action, it's just crazy. Or all four players against the computer also creates for some really, really exciting moments and exciting tension. And yeah, like I said, I feel like the simplicity in this game's design is where it really shines. The mechanics and the systems that this game puts in place allow for those chaotic moments to happen without much of a learning curve. In Mario Strikers Charge, as much as I love that game too, I think sometimes it gets a little too complicated with special abilities and stats and all sorts of stuff that you have to consider when you're putting your team composition together. Not to mention some of the stages in that game really take it a little too far with the hazards disrupting play to the absolute extreme. Um, <laughs> whereas this game, even though I do wish there was some stage variety and they weren't just all plain stages with a palette swap, I do wish there were some hazards in play. Uh, sometimes Mario Strikers tries takes it a little too far. And like I said, the elegant simplicity in this game uh, with, you know, all the randomness and all the chaotic mess that can happen is just, it's just fun. That's the thing. It's just fun. Uh, you can go back to Mario Strikers anytime, pick it up, even if you haven't played it in a day or if you haven't played it in three years, pick it up again and you could just have a blast all over again, even just against the computer. It's, it's, it's exciting. It's intense. And it's, again, it's a worthy addition to the Mario Sports Collection on GameCube, which I still think reigns supreme over really all of the other Mario Sports uh, collections, I suppose you could say. All the other Mario Sports eras. Yes, you have Mario Sports Mix. You have uh, all that other fancy new motion controls and all sorts of 3D, HD graphics and whatnot. But it's those GameCube games that really nailed the fusion between the sports they were trying to emulate and also the wacky, chaotic nature that the Mario series can present to mix up the traditional sports action. Mario Golf Total Tour, a good amount of crazy course elements and, and flair with the Mario cast, but also just playing a traditional, mechanically sound golf game. Uh, Mario Strikers, again, a solid balance between having a great time with some football, but also the chaotic, crazy Mario madness that you come to expect mario power tennis same idea you can actually turn off all that wackiness and have one of the best produced tennis games you can find it's a solid system that's put in place for it um but uh, it, it, with all the course elements if you want to uh, toggle all that stuff on you get this crazy fun inventive way of playing tennis and mario superstar baseball same idea where you have some of the course hazards where they just some unexpected things can happen. Of course, the Mario cast brings, you know, a pretty exciting mix of a uh, variety to the game. But overall, you can still get a really solid baseball experience if you're just looking for a simple baseball game, sort of in the style of backyard baseball, you can get it. And that's why I love uh, Super Mario Strikers, much of the same reason. It's a good hybrid between Mario, which is the crazy unpredictability of it all, and uh, sports, which is, you know, the actual fundamental of of football. Granted, there's no offsides. This is probably the one that takes it a little in the extreme of being just absolute insanity, but it's a great time. Now, like I said, this wasn't, this isn't the last video of Super Mario Strikers, even though I did give all my closing thoughts and opinions. I did promise, and what I want to do is I want to uphold that promise, to have one match against the hardest difficulty AI, which is Legend. Uh, <laughs> It's going to be hard. Uh, Legend difficulty plays not so fair, and I'll explain more in the next episode, uh, but 
Legend difficulty, I'm really going to have my work cut out for me. I'm going to have to pay attention, play at the top of my game, and just be an all-around stud. But if Wario can do, or whatever team I'm controlling can do, what Wario just did here, then, I mean, I don't think we'd have much to worry about. But Legend difficulty is going to be a trip. We're going to explore that next time on Let's Play Super Mario Strikers. But the main cups are all done. The Super Bowser Cup champion is Wario. Congratulations to him. Next time, we're going to be facing off against the ultimate challenge that this game has to offer. I'll see you guys then. This is Shadow Mario 41. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.